Okay, so in this video, did a little shopping at the 99 cent store for some supplies for my little electronic space here at home, and let me show you what I got. You know, obviously you always need some pens, so I got an eight pack of pens. Everybody needs those. I got two blank DVD minus R's and three blank CD minus R's. We got some rolls of magnetic tape. I got three of those. A set of precision screwdrivers for taking apart small stuff. Some more magnetic tape. And keep in mind, each one of these items was 99 cents. And it got me some little food storage containers come in a four pack here. Putting screws, parts, whatever into. Got a larger container here for 99 cents with a nice little snap on lid that I will use for tools and whatnot later on. Got a set of uh, normal size screwdrivers because you can never have too many screwdrivers, especially in different sizes. And this is, uh, well, this is more for my day job. The, I'm a carpenter during the day. This is a mechanical carpenter's pencil. I don't know if you can see the tip on that, but it's got a very wide tip like the carpenter's pencil. It comes with a refill, and so it's a carpenter's pencil. You never have to sharpen as opposed to the standard wooden ones, which I normally use, which I think I have one I can show you real quick. All right, so standard carpenter's pencil, and as you can see, you can buy pencil sharpeners for these at Home Depot and Lowe's and other hardware stores, but usually you just sharpen it with a pocket knife or a razor knife. Anyways, that'll eliminate some of that problem. All right, so back to my dollar store finds. Just some more little uh, screwdrivers, little pocket set of uh, mini screwdriver tips and pocket screwdriver. And I got this one because it includes some uh, Torx head bits, which I don't have too many of those. Another roll of magnetic tape. Got some magnetic pickup tools that extend like a antenna and got a little magnet on the end of them. Hot glue gun. Some square foam mounting pads, double sided. Some play school washable school glue. Couple sets of little C clamps. I got a small one and a large one in the pack, and I got two of those. Um, another magnetic pickup, a little uh, extending mirror thing. Pack of cheap AA batteries. Some more C clamps. Some two tubes of uh, super glue gel. Nine volt batteries. More magnetic tape. Another nine volt battery. Tube of crazy glue. Box of push pens. Yep. 150 of them in that pack. Glue sticks for my glue gun. This doesn't really have anything to do with the lab, but I thought it was kind of cool if you can see this. Um, it's a digital watch that just shows a black face until you hit the button. And then as you can see, it lights up. I thought that was kind of cool. Looking. These are just some little metal bracket clamp things I found on the walk home. Thought I might find a use for those someday. So... Oh, and then the last thing I got was a box of aluminum foil, 50 square feet, because I only need aluminum foil for this kind of stuff. So, that was my shopping trip to the 99 cent store today, which was primarily to get items for my electronics work and, and projects and stuff that I do here at home. So, this would be my first video on this subject and coming soon will be my first project and then each project that I build after that I'm gonna go ahead and upload the videos so you guys can see what I'm doing so thanks for watching and uh, 
35 bucks. All this crap for 35 bucks. Now what am I going to do with it? We'll find out in videos to come. Thanks for watching.